Welcome to the Pearl of Africa, Uganda. And I know the only city that comes into your mind when you hear the name Uganda is Kampala. Do you know that Kampala is used to be the city of Impalas, but now there are no more Impalas in the city. But let me just brief you about the origination of the name Kampala. The hills where Kampala sits, some of the hills were known to be ne uh, homes of impalas. And in the local language, they were known as Akasozi Kempara. Akasozi meaning a hill. So in the uh, translation, Akasozi Kempara, the name Kampara originated. A hill of impalas, so Kempara. The land of Impalas is occupied by humans. So now, where is the new home of the Impalas? This is why I want to embark on a journey with a Ugandan tourism board to the west of Uganda. Uganda is one of the four regions in Uganda and I believe that it's the most touristic region in the whole of Uganda because there are so many places to explore in this beautiful region. I'm really enjoying this whole road trip. You know why? Because as we drive certain places, the sun is shining. We drive a few kilometers and it starts raining. And listen, the best part of it all is the endless scenic view that I'm seeing. My goodness, like nobody ever told me that road trips in Uganda will be this enjoyable. I mean, look in front of me. Can you guys see? Listen, if you ever visit Uganda, I don't think you need to use planes within the country. Go on a road trip and believe me or not, you will actually enjoy the road trip more than your final destination. And I don't know why Ugandans are saying that it's a dry season. I've never seen a dry season that everywhere looks green. I mean, everywhere we go, it's raining. And these guys are saying it's dry season. I guess that's why they call it the Pearl of Africa. So in the Pearl of Africa, even if it's dry season, it rains. I've never been to heaven before, but I think this is how heaven looks like, man. What? Show. <laughs> No, the Western Uganda is really surprising me because of the greens that I'm seeing. Imagine if you live here, you know, you will live so long. Like I'm surrounded by green, man. Look at that. Just look at that. Woo. Best days of my life, man. Thank you. The Tourism Board of Uganda for making this dream come true, man. Explore Uganda, the pearl of Africa. You want to say something? Love you guys, come and explore Uganda. On our journey to the west, we stop by at the equator. I don't know if most of you know that Uganda is one of the 13 countries that the equator passes through. And we had to try the equator experiment. We are going to do a geographic experiment to prove that the process of north and the south don't speak the same. Kampala, Jinja, Tebe, USA, German, Netherlands, north. Whenever they flush their toilets or sink, the water spins clockwise. And then, the reason why I put this metal is to make the water stable. So here I'm trying to make the water stable. 
detail. The reason why I put this flower is that you can see the water spinning with your eyes. It's not spinning. With your eyes. Oh! But when I put a flower, you see it. So if you live in Kampala and crush your toilets, it's spin clockwise. Then Masaka, Chotel, Mbalala, South Africa, Tanzania, Rwanda, it is south of the spins and so South Pole Pole is anti, not Pole Pole is blood. Where the forces meet, it's the actual equator line. Which means that in countries that are crossed by the equator line in the whole world. That is Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil, that is South America. Sao Tome, Gabon, Congo Brazzaville, Congo DRC, Uganda, Kenya, and Somalia, that is Africa. Seven. Then Indonesia, Gorontala. That's the equator line. Yes. And at the equator line middle of the world, the water does not spin. That's what's called zero latitude. They are not possible. They don't spin. The water will not spin as we're gonna see. So we're gonna start the experiment. Do you have the flower? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put the flower. Because in the middle it, put it? it does not bring the spot. So it goes straight down without bringing the spot. So we're gonna put the flower. I don't believe you unless I do it first. Oh, okay. You don't force. Just press the flower and go. See what happens exactly the equator line. Oh! <laughs> so the equator line no rotation, no clockwise, no anti because this is the middle of the world. And also the equator certificates, just in case one take a second. <laughs> this is the knob. If you put it, it's gonna fall. Oh, if, you, come, it's going if you put it here, it's gonna fall. So you need to put it at the on the equator. Which has zero latitude. Is it zero latitude, right? Yeah, sure. But I don't know how all the time I feel. Are you sure it's gonna be stable? Yeah. Try it out. See? But my hand is shaky. My hand is shaky. <laughs> It's the wind, you know? Yeah. Oh my god. Ah! We have to block the wind. The wind direction is the side. I don't know why I cannot achieve this man. So now the egg is flat. Oh, the wind. You can see I'm smiling because I'm really living my best life in Uganda. I never knew Uganda is this beautiful. I never knew such a beauty exists in this beautiful country. I was so shocked to see that Uganda actually has a safari parks where you can explore, go for game drives, Good for canoeing, bed seed. This is something that I never imagined that it exists in Uganda. You see, the bed right behind me, that is the Ugandan crane. This is a national bed for Uganda. If you know the football uh, team for Uganda, it's called the Uganda crane. This is where it got its name from. And this is the beautiful hotel that we slept last night called Ngongo Country Hotel. It's a beautiful hotel. I mean, affordable. And I love the fact that it's so green. I, I don't know why, but I'm a big fan of greens. And I'm living my best life in here. Inside Ngongo Country Hotel, you get a chance to learn about the history and the culture of the people of Uganda, which I believe it was an eye opener. Good morning, what's your name? Uh, uh, this is a museum where, where you are, and it is all about uh, the culture of southwestern Uganda. Uh, those are mainly the Wanyangkole and also the Wachiga people. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is all about our culture, and that's what uh, we shall uh, look at it. Uh, when we look at this, this is a kind of, uh, we call it a Albertan Lift Valley, or you can call it as a sketch map, uh, whereby it shows some of the tourism attractions that we find in western region, mm -hmm. uh, mainly the national parks. As you know, Uganda, we have almost uh, uh, 10 national parks, and Western region, we have eight of them. 
and they are always some kind of two which are, as I said, that is Chidepo and also Makshan Falls. So here mainly, Ambara, this uh, area where you are, it is called Ibiharwe and it is in Barara uh, city and this is where we are and we have uh, Alikimburu in Barara. So uh, this is Alikimburu where we mostly find the uh, zebras and it is also among the smallest national parks that we have. I know my wife was attacked in Uganda because she said she never knew that it's possible to do safari in Uganda. Neither did I know that it's possible to do this in this beautiful country. <laughs> you do your research on the internet, you will see that Uganda got the lowest tourist turnout in the whole of East Africa. You know what, because Ugandans are not telling us that you can actually have the best safari experience in the Pearl of Africa. And believe me or not, it's the most affordable compared to their neighbors. That's more impalas, right? Go down a little bit. Okay, more impalas. On our left hand side, we have the impalas, yeah. the males as well, and then the water bags in the background. Mm. So they yeah. are females and they are living with the dominant male. Water bugs, like their names are guests, they like associating with waterlogged presses. And once they get scared, they release their glands, making their body smell badly, making their meat taste bitter. What? So in case the predators chase and kill on them, they may not enjoy the meat. The best way is a surprise attack. It doesn't mean that the predators don't go for them. They can kill them, but then they may find the meat when it is not good and they can leave the carcass. The vultures and hyenas, for them, they don't care whether it is bitter <laughs> or smelly, they can eat. I can't believe that we are doing this in Uganda. This is incredible. Who would have thought? Okay, you know, most of the wow. Also, mm -hmm. They just show Kenya and Tanzania when it comes to wildlife. Are you the one? I never knew Uganda got a lot to offer. Me, I'm man. shocked. Let me tell you. You're shocked? shocked. Like, yeah. Hey. Oh, you see zebras? So zebras belong to the horse family, but never expect a ride from a zebra. <laughs> because zebras have a soft and a weak backbone, they cannot be able to carry any weight on their back. They as well have smaller hooves. So if they happen to carry heavy weight, their hooves can easily sink in the ground. They have the black and white stripes, and those stripes look different from one another, just like our fingerprints. Pumba! Why is Pumba running around here? Many people call them Pumba like you're calling them. Yeah. And Pumba literally means stupid. Oh! Oh, wow. You want to call them Pumba? Yeah. Yeah. Because they are very stupid. 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 Yeah. Oh my goodness, I never knew, man. Mr. Gus, what are you doing? Mm. What the fuck is that? <laughs> ah. Look at them parlors, so many parlors, man. One thing that I, I really enjoy about this national park is the fact that all the animals are moving together, even though they are different species. Wow, and this is how humans should learn to live. You know, you guys need to live together. Even animals know how to live together. How much more than women? Hey, I'm saying women. <laughs> we are the shores of Lake Iburu. This is where the National Park got its name. So, is it, is it not Lake Victoria? It's different from Lake Victoria. Wow, that's so beautiful. Oh, okay. Oh, oh this is Jesus. This is... From here, we are going to get out.
her. Believe me or not, I never knew Uganda is this beautiful, bro. So we can stretch up. Whoa! Look at that. What's that? No, the view, babe. Yeah, the view. Babe. This is Uganda. Oh my goodness. Uh, 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 welcome. Now I know why they call this place the Pearl of Africa. Welcome to Uganda. Yo! I'm so glad. Hey, am I safe? I'm so glad I came back to Uganda because I never knew that such beauty exists in the Pearl of Africa, man. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to show you all the best of Uganda, man. This is unbelievable. Look at that. Exploring is the best teacher ever. I mean, traveling is the best teacher ever. I mean, I've been to Rwanda and when we started driving here, I asked the driver, why do we feel like we're in Rwanda? And he's like, hey, we're just 15 kilometers away from Rwanda. So where we are is called Kapale. And you see this road right in front of me? If you drive 15 kilometers straight, you'll be in Rwanda, which is incredible, man. This is what I've been saying. Africans are just one people and it's about time we clear all these borders so that we all can live together, one harmony and just enjoy ourselves as Africans. But at the end of the day, we have a border that says that this is Uganda and that place is um, Rwanda. This district or town that we are is known for mountain gorillas. That's how you see gorillas, sculptures everywhere we go to. Oh my goodness, after four hours, we're finally at our final destination. This is our final destination. No, we're actually here to just have lunch, and we are currently at. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, that's a kitchen. Ah! I'm sorry, look at the view. Whoa, what a beauty! What's the name of the lake? Munyoni. Huh. And what's the name of this place, this part of Uganda? Like, yeah, oh my goodness. And the, and, and, the, and the weather changed drastically. Like, I feel so cold right now. Oh my god, look at the view. Oh. One of the most beautiful views I've seen. Jeez. Oh Best thing that has ever happened to me is to come into the Western Uganda, man. Look at me, just having my all-time favorite chicken wings with my wife sitting next to me and a million-dollar view right in front of me. God bless me. God bless Africa. God bless Uganda. God bless Uganda. God bless those who have never been here before. And I'm just hoping that this video will inspire them to come and see this place.